Hello and welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. Once again, I'd just like to thank everyone for sharing the podcast. It's going a long way. And if you have any ideas for the podcast, don't forget to follow us on Facebook or email me at dad.bedtimestories at gmail.com. This is episode 49, The Trouble Being Tiny, Part 2. And if you remember in the last episode, the main character, you, got yourself in a little bit of a predicament, being shrunken down, riding on some remote control cars and drones, and ultimately being stuck in the bathroom, miniature-sized, without access to spaceship. Now just close your eyes get comfy in your bed or wherever you're sleeping and begin to imagine yourself doing what the kid in the story does. You wake up on the soft thing of cotton balls that you fell asleep on the night before. You get up and stretch and you decide to peek up over the side of the drawer You carefully climb up and stick your head out of the bathroom drawer. Good, nobody else is around. You look around for a way to get down from the bathroom. Ah, no, there's nothing here anymore. I don't know how I'm going to get down there, you think to yourself. You begin to look around for some way down. You rummage through the cabinet and you come across something that looks like a shower head covering. It'll work perfect as a parachute, you think. You head over to the side of the counter. You hold on to the giant parachute head covering and you look down below you. Down below, you see an air vent pumping heat up out of the floor. That's perfect. You'll aim for the air vent, and hopefully it'll shoot you up in the air, and you can glide partway back to Spaceship, who you left in another room. You take a deep breath, and you jump off the edge holding the hair covering in your hands. It quickly grabs the air and you float slowly down towards the ground. You get close to the vent and you begin to feel wind shooting up out of it. When you were full size, this didn't seem like that big of a deal. But at your current size, it's a huge windstorm. It hits you and the hair covering and shoots you back up into the air. You pull the side of the hair covering in just the right way to angle the parachute down. You glide gently through the hallway until you see a vacuum. And not just any vacuum either. It seems that you now have one of those robot vacuum cleaners that just goes around cleaning up the house. And you're pretty sure you're small enough to be sucked into it. You do your best to pull up on the makeshift parachute. But it doesn't work. You just slowly descend to the ground and land right in front of the robot vacuum cleaner. You immediately start to run in the other direction, but at your size, each step barely brings you anywhere, and the robot vacuum cleaner follows you. You dart around a corner, but the vacuum cleaner seems to sense you and believe you're dirt or something, and it follows you around the corner as well. You continue to run as fast as you can. Uh, 
How am I going to get out of here? Then, in front of you, you see something perfect. There's a balloon floating in the living room. It must have been left there from a party or something like that. It looks like it's full of helium, and the little string reaches down just far enough for you to be able to catch it. With the robot vacuum cleaner sneaking up behind you, almost sucking you in, you make a huge jump for it and grab onto the string from the helium balloon. You immediately start to climb up above the level of the vacuum cleaner, and it passes underneath you. But the string to the balloon gets stuck in it as well. The vacuum cleaner starts pulling you around the living room. All you can do is hold on to the string of the balloon as tightly as you can. You decide to slowly let yourself descend down and slide back down the string until you're just above the vacuum cleaner itself. You let go and you land on the top of the vacuum. Now it's riding you around the room. This is a perfect way to get back, other than this thing just seems to go wherever it wants to, not where I want it to go. I wonder if there's controls on it or something like that. The vacuum continues to circulate around the living room. You crawl around on top of it on all fours, looking for some controls. Before long, you find a set of blinking lights. Perfect, this much must be them. You see a button on them, but it's just a power button. It doesn't seem to do anything else. Oh well, at least I can get as close as I can get, and then I can hit the power button, you think. You allow the vacuum cleaner to ride you around until it gets close to the room spaceship's in. At that point, you jump up in the air and land on the power button as hard as you can. The robot vacuum cleaner almost immediately powers down and comes to a halt. You head over to the side of it and slide off onto the ground. Phew, you say. That was close. Now, I just need to get the rest of the way back to Spaceship. Spaceship is just ahead of you in another room in the house. You start sprinting towards the room, and at your size, every little fleck of dirt seems like a boulder. You get to the door and it's pretty easy to crawl right underneath it. There's just enough room for you to make it there. When you get underneath, you see Spaceship. Perfect. Spaceship's here. Hey, Spaceship! You yell, but nothing happens. Spaceship! You yell again, but Spaceship doesn't respond at all. What's going on, you wonder? Spaceship should be able to hear me from here. Eh, oh well. I'll just get to it and everything should be fine after that. You look up at where Spaceship is sitting. It's on top of a table. And there really doesn't seem to be too many ways to get up on the table at all. There's some chairs, but... Even the chairs are gigantic climbing walls to you. You go closer to them. At your tiny size, you can see little tiny holes and dots in the wood. Things you would never notice at full size. But now, it actually looks kind of climbable. Your only worry is if you fall. It'll be a long way down and... You're not really sure how that'll turn out. But you decide there's no other options. You have to climb it. So you find a foothold and a handhold. And one by one, you start climbing up 
the table. You slowly make your way up to the top of the table. You climb up over the edge and you run towards Spaceship. Spaceship, are you okay? Spaceship doesn't say anything. You go up closer to Spaceship and have a bit of a closer look. Wait a second, you realize. This isn't Spaceship. This is just a toy spaceship, like a normal toy spaceship. <sighs> Man, where did I leave the actual spaceship? You look around the room and you don't see it anywhere. Where did Spaceship go, you wonder? And how am I going to get to it? Just then you hear a little squeaking noise and something's moving around in your pocket. What's that? Out of your pocket crawls a little mouse. Changer? You've been with me the whole time? Hey buddy, how are you? Changer transforms into the size of a dog, or in this case a miniature dog because Changer was shrunk down along with you. How big of an animal can you become when you're this small, you ask? I've seen you transform into some pretty huge things before. Changer tilts its head to the side, thinking for a minute, and then it begins to bubble and transform and grow and grow and grow until it's the size of a gigantic rat. Ooh, that's creepy, you say, but it's bigger than anything else we're gonna get. You run up and crawl on the back of the gigantic rat, or from a normal person's perspective, a pretty normal sized rat. Let's go, Changer, you say. Changer scurries across the table and jumps down onto the chair and then onto the ground. Can you smell the spaceship, you ask? We need to find spaceship. Changer starts to sniff around the carpet. It sniffs almost everywhere until suddenly it perks up a bit and begins to run in a direction. It runs straight out into the hallway and down towards another room. You realize that it's heading right to your bedroom. It gets to the bedroom and the door is completely closed. I'll just go under it, you think. You crawl off of the rat and you try to look under the door, but in this case, it's shoved right against the carpet and there's not enough room for you to get in there. You try to push on the bottom of it, but it doesn't budge. Even if it did, you aren't big enough to let it. How are we gonna get up to the doorknob? You ask. Changer once again tilts his head to the side, thinking carefully about what could be done. Then, he seems to have an idea. He motions for you to get on his back, and you do. Changer then begins to start running in another direction. And as he runs, wings grow out the side of the rat. He starts flapping his wings and jumps into the air. You along with him. Suddenly, you find yourself riding a flying rat through the house. He turns around and heads back towards the bedroom door. Just when he's close enough to the doorknob, he pulls his wings into the side and lands with a thump on the doorknob. He holds onto it as tight as he can and leans back. Slowly, bit by bit, the doorknob turns 
and the door pops open, but Changer loses his grip. You and Changer begin to fall from the doorknob. Luckily, Changer is currently a winged rat and just spreads his wings out at the last second, letting you glide gently down to the floor of your room. Spaceship, where are you? I am right here, says Spaceship. Spaceship flies down off a shelf. Where were you? asks Spaceship. I lost you and I forgot to put my watch on today so I could communicate with you and then I had to sleep in a drawer full of cotton balls. That all sounds very adventurous, says Spaceship. You didn't even come looking for me? You ask? You thought it would be fun to be small. Was it? Asks Spaceship. Was it? I... Did you leave me small on purpose to prove a point? You ask Spaceship. The short answer is yes. Spaceship answers. You... You... Well, uh, spaceship, I guess you were right. It wasn't as fun to be small as I thought it would be. Can you make me larger again? Yes, says spaceship. Spaceship shines a bright yellow light on you and Changer. And you grow and grow and grow until you're your normal size once again standing across from a gigantic rat that takes up your entire bedroom. Bah! You say. Changer, you can change back now if uh, you want to. Changer slowly morphs back down into the size of a little dog and jumps up onto your bed. Tired from the adventure, you climb into your bed as well. You pull the covers up over top of you. You let your head hit the pillow. Spaceship, can you get the light again? You say. Spaceship flies over and turns off the light. You let your eyes close. And with each breath, You let your body relax more and more. Your arms sink down into the bed. Then your legs and your stomach and your chest. And you just let yourself lay there. No need to do anything at all. Just enjoy how relaxing it feels and let your mind go wherever it wants to go. Good night, everyone.